So we're almost there. We got a whole shape cut out. Now we got to come in here and cut out the hourglass shape right in the middle. And so now we got everything done. So good time to probably save. And we're red three. So now let's import our final vector. And that is the fourth pass hourglass. And we're going to pick up the DXF file. And we're going to bring that one in. So there's the hourglass shape. And in order to do the hourglass, what I had to do was set up a profile on the drawing that comes around. And then I, I gave it a radius. And then I went past the part. And what I want to do is be able to cut past. Because the profile is already done. But I want the tool to come out clear and come back around. So you can see the pink one is selected. And so this one's going to be an area clear as well. So I got it selected and I want to hit area clearance. So the start depth is uh, zero. And I want my finish depth to be 0.4. So we hit 0.4 and that's how far down. It makes it real simple to use zero on the top surface because then it's you're cutting down into it. And so then all of this stuff stays the same. And then we've got to pick a tool. And we're going to pick a quarter inch bit. And then we've got to specify it again. So it defaults to this 0.75 step over. So there again, if I did the 0.075, it's going to take forever because it's, it's going to keep stepping over 0.075. But my tool can run... 0.25 so I'm just going to step over 0.2 or I could even say 0.22 and have 30,000 but I'll just step over 0.2 step down is okay and the feed rate I'm going to bump up to 5 inches per minute because it's sweeping along pretty good we'll see what it does and then I want to do an offset because I think it'll make tool marks and but they'll look a little bit better it'll be a little easier to sand and so we, we're going to do an offset on it. We're climbing our start point. We want to be on the outside again. That way it relieves the material so the chips will fall out. If I start on the inside, it's going to pile those chips up in there. If I had an air blower versus a liquid uh, lubricant on it, then uh, I could probably start in the middle and blow the chips away. But I'm using uh, flood coolant. And so I want to start on the outside so it'll flood those chips off. So we're going to go start on the outside. And then we don't have to worry about all this because I'm just coming down to a depth. My material set up. And this is going to be fifth step. Hourglass. And so with everything set up, we got all of our step overs and step downs. We're offsetting outside starting in our depth of 0.4 then all we got to do is calculate now and so then that gets us our last step which is the hourglass and so now we can see what our 3d looks like so if we come over here this is what it's been creating so it's starting on the zero right here and then it's running out as I did the different ones and so then it's going to finish up and then it'll come back out and it'll go back to my safe Z. So there we go. We got the whole program set up. So now what we need to do is save that. But then we got to save the tool paths for the mock on the G code because this doesn't do us any good until we turn it into a tap file. 